Hello, how is everybody today? I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I always have to think about what day it is. 40 degrees outside. We had a major snowstorm this weekend. And thankfully, the temperatures have gone up enough that the snow is melting pretty quickly. So I'm glad about that. I will have to trudge down to the dumpster physically <sighs> because unfortunately <laughs> my car is dead. How could a shop have a car for a week and a half, inspected it all over for state inspection, emissions, repairing a brake line, putting in a water pump, and not detect anything wrong with the timing chain? That I don't get. I get the car back on February 14th. And then yesterday, poof, it's just gone. I don't know. I just don't know. I treasured that car so much. And it's just not right, you know? I, um, I drove it last Wednesday to work. No, I didn't go to work last Wednesday, did I? No, I didn't, because I wasn't feeling good. So, um, I drove it Thursday to the grocery store. And... I heard an odd sound in the car. So, you know, when I drove it and I drove it back home, all I did was get my groceries and come back home. Got in the car Monday morning and it was a clack, 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 clack. I opened the hood and I could tell it was coming from that chain because that's where the sound was coming from. So I planned on stopping by the mechanic after work. And unfortunately, the car didn't make it to work. I was about three miles away when all of a sudden the car just died. Wouldn't start back up. Um, it tried to start back up. I knew the battery was fine. The alternator was fine. But um, it was cold. Sitting in the driver's seat with a blanket over me because of that window being broken. Some sweet lady stopped in the other lane and said, are you okay? And I told her I'm waiting for AAA. Thank God I joined AAA with my tax refund. And um, I said, it'll be about an hour and a half. And she said, oh, criminy kibitz, I'll be right back. I'll get you some coffee. Now, isn't that sweet? She got me coffee and two sandwiches, which I didn't have till yesterday. But that was so sweet, you know. Everybody up here is just really, really sweet. Um, nice people. So, just devastated over this, you know. I had to quit my job because I have no way of getting there. So, all I can hope is that my cousin won't insist on me paying him part of that bill because I need a new car. Renter rebates are usually around $1,000 each year. I'm going to need that to get another vehicle. So, that's my plan. Once the rebate comes in, I don't know. Sometimes it takes a month. Sometimes it takes three months. I don't know how long it's going to take. But as soon as I get it, I am going to have to uh, get another car somehow because where I live... 
you can't be without a car. It's not like I'm in the center of town, you know. So anyway, that's that's been my my week. My my my, my one day week has just been just devastating. So anyway. Yeah, I need some cheering up, but I do have some products in the mailbox that I'm going to go get. I ordered, as you know, every year at tax refund. I, and I'm sure a lot of other people also do this. We get things that we want that make us happy, right? So I got a couple of palettes. I got the Smoke and Roses palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Natasha Denona. And um, some Juvia's Place, which hasn't come in yet, but um, I'm looking forward to that. I have pretty much every small palette of Juvia's Place because they're 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 um their formula is so beautiful. You know their eyeshadows are so buttery. You know my friend Melissa uses that in her videos. It's just so buttery. It is because you put your finger in it and it's just soft and silky and blends like a dream. So anything with Juvia's Place I highly recommend. Colourpop as well. Those are my two main people that I order from as far as makeup. So um, I've gotten the two palettes I got from Colourpop and um, Juvia's Place will be coming probably within a week or so. I ordered that last week. And um, I ordered some new mascara. I don't think it's that great, but um, one of the beauty uh, channels recommended it. And uh, so I got it. I'm getting low on mascara. So at least I've got something to um, brighten my day a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have to... Um, Go to the dumpster and then go up the hill to the mailbox and come home and hope I can make it, <laughs> you know, with my legs. My legs have been feeling so heavy lately and uh, my muscle aches and everything. I don't know what's going on. I was going to make an appointment for the doctor. Now, oh, well, <laughs> it's just going to have to wait. So I hope you all are having a good day and I will try to have a better day. You know, I try to, I try to make the best of things, you know, um, I've said it more than once, you know, once you've gone through a life changing traumatic event, like losing a loved one, everything else just seems petty, you know? It really does. It just seems petty because your husband isn't there anymore or your dad isn't there anymore or your mom and anything after really doesn't matter. At least that's how I feel about it, you know. I'm sorry, but um. Sometimes you just want to think, I mean, what the hell did I do to deserve this? You know, nothing, uh, but uh, things happen to cars. And the uh, mechanic at AAA said, um, oh, these cars t tend to have their time and belts go when it gets up to high mileage. And I'm like, are you serious? And he said, yeah, it happens a lot. I just don't get it. I had it for all of four weeks. And that was it. So. I'm going to go take out the garbage. Get the mail. Clean out the car. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.